Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in St. Barts with the Cessna Grand Caravan. This is a plane that can take off and land anywhere, but that's what we're going to be testing today. This plane actually operates in St. Barts, so this should be kind of routine, but we're just going to do a quick takeoff and landing. And St. Barts is a dangerous airport because of its small runway and this big cliff right before you land. Okay, so this should be pretty routine. Let's just give it a quick takeoff. No problem at all. Very easy. Okay, here we are coming into land at As you can see, you fly right over the road. There are some trees there, which I'm pretty sure they're not in real life. There you go, a pretty routine landing. I was a bit late, but worked out fine. Okay, everybody, welcome to Lukla. As you can see, it's very snowy and we are very high up in the mountains. This is one of the world's most dangerous airports, mainly because of its elevation, its runway slope, how short its runway is, all those factors combined. So, we're gonna fly this plane here. We're gonna do a takeoff and landing, see how it works. There we go, we've just taken off from Lukla. I'm not even braking or using thrust reversers and we're already coming to a stop. That was very easy. Planes are built to land on all types of runways. Yes, that includes dirt. You would usually see these planes landing on runways like these in the middle of the mountains and stuff. So this should be no problem for it, even though this is a, uh, I wouldn't really call it a runway. There's even a big hill at the end, so. There we go. There we go. A successful landing on this crazy runway. I think we should try a takeoff. So I'm just gonna point it straight down the runway. Give it some power, give it some flaps, and let's go. Don't know what to expect of this still right here. Okay. It's a bit scary, but there's trees right in front of us. Can we make it over them? Oh, there we go. We barely miss the trees, and we take off. Welcome to the world's smallest airport. Yeah, this is Saba. And look how small it is. Like, that, that's just crazy. And to make things even worse, there's cliffs on both sides. So you don't really want to overrun because you're going to go straight into the water and it's going to be a long drop. Uh, No. 
we are, guys, coming to land at Saba, the world's smallest airport. I do not know why the runway lights are floating above the actual runway, but we can just ignore that. We can put this thing down. Idle the throttle. First thrust. Come on. I'm even swerving. Please stop, stop, stop. There we go. We have just landed this plane at Saba, the world's smallest airport. There we go. Beautiful takeoff from the world's smallest airport. So guys, that's going to do it for me today. We have established that the Cessna 208 Grand Caravan can land anywhere it wants to. So guys, if you want, you can leave a comment for a landing challenge that you think this plane cannot complete. And I'll probably make a video about me trying to complete that and see if this plane really can land anywhere. But that's gonna be it for me, so thank you guys, and I'll see you in next video. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story, and I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen.